Jatin, welcome to After Life and today's Shoroshuti Pujo. We have brought you here from your studio where you were about to paint Shoroshuti with her Rajaj. But what a wonderful location to be out here in the gallery space looking at your works hanging so beautifully around us. The subject, of course, is, is painful, is poignant. You've titled the show Exodus 2020, and in a sense, that is what the year was all about. If there is one defining image of last year, it has to be this image of a family or just that one person trudging homewards and carrying this burden of despair, of hopelessness. You've, you've captured these images so beautifully. How, how did they begin? When did you first think of making a series on the migrant laborers? First of all, when I work, I don't think of a series. I don't ever work to a theme either. I normally do, I sketch and draw. Yes. Then when I do a few work, uh, a few works, then it shows me a direction. Mm -hmm. So all my life I work like that. Yes. I have uh, never worked to a dictate of mine or others. Right. So, but laborers, although this is about exodus, laborers as such has been of great interest to me yes. from my childhood. I, I come from a old Minsley state and fortunately we had five acres of land next to the house. Mayurpanj. Mayurpanj in Baripada, which is the capital of Mayurpanj, and the northern part of Orissa, Bandarin Bengal, of Orissa. So there were a lot of tribals used to come and work in the field. And they are there on a, just a sari tucked away at the Pondri and the Gamcha. That's it. Mm -hmm. So they are lovely brown, bronze color shiny body with perspiration and the muscles and the body showing completely because a lot of people say Jatin does nudes people don't know what is a nude uh, in all the temples when you see the sculptures they are bare figures only a little bit of jewelry or a suggestion of a little fabric but you see if you want to show the lalitya of the body the Which temperature, the movement, the rhythm. Yes. So it has to be that. So, so having said that, when I see these tribals and the workers who are working in the field from those, I still do sketches. I have thousands of sketches of them. Pencil, six feet, four feet pencil. Okay. Having done that, all my paintings are born out of the energy of working people. Mm. That's what but I they're was not narrative. To. Yes. But the energy. The energy. And I remember, in fact, I have a sense of ownership about this exhibition because I was perhaps one of the earliest visitors to your studio during the pandemic and I saw these images when you were first working on them and we were doing fundraising for our farm and all of that. Uh, what I was uh, curious about is that with some images, when we were traveling through the Silk Route, in the year 2005 in China, you you have you know this tendency to sit down to instantly make doodles to create these fabulous uh, images of your surroundings. But there is a geographical uh, identity; they belong to a certain location. These images are of people. What you know? What emerges is the stress, the strain, the burden, the the, the anguish and that is remarkable. Each image is, is completely different. There are children, there are elderly people and they are carrying their weight, you know, in the way they stand the posture. It is not uh, a nude uh, or a beautiful, you know, tribal figure. It is not uh, a baby. No, it is, it is just an ordinary worker who has the power and the strength of being larger than himself even. So I, I just wanted to congratulate you and just tell you that this is a remarkable exhibition. Uh, I, I said, I never paint towards a theme. Yes. I also never paint towards an exhibition in my life. 
Yes. When a body of work is there, yes. and a few words guide me or gives me a direction, when I see two, three words that I've done, I say, ah, there is a concept flowing in it. Yes. Then I pick up the thread and run through. Yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. It's like if you are in love, you meet somebody, you have a cup of coffee, then you have a lunch or dinner or a drink, and then a relationship falls. A relationship falls. Likewise, in waiting yes. or trying. Yes. That's my way. I don't know what others do. So that's one. The other is, I never thought of this exhibition. I just worked and worked and worked. And there are about two, three hundred works still there. Uh, of the manhole cleaners, etc. The laborers. Yes. Uh, they don't go with this. But what I'm saying, uh, I saw it on the television, I saw it in the newspaper, I heard about it, I saw that. And uh, they, uh, as I said, uh, they, they inspire me immensely and also uh, when I see a young lady uh, spend 2,000 of her savings to buy a second hand bicycle, yes. putting her father as a billion and driving, uh, cycling 1,200 kilometers, even when I think of it and I repeated this many times to my friends, my have a you know. So, and, and, Nobody in the country, no family's child, no family's son or daughter said, I want to go and see my grandfather in Bengal or or Bihar or Panda. Nobody went. I am amazed. That is my own model. Yes. So, in, my, in our life, we have many role models. Yes. These people are my role model because they were silent. They were sitting there for 48 hours or 5 days. They didn't grumble. You know? They didn't have like the Farmers have now canteen and langar and medicine, everything supplied. These people are quietly sitting there to board a bus. But resolute, determined, determined. Determined to go and they don't grumble. These are the people who work throughout the day and eat roti and green tea and namak and sing Kabir Bhajan in the evening. People you know, died, people. there were road like 190 people died on the road. Accidents were happening, but they trudged on. They trudged with their family, with their mothers, with their ailing fathers. No, I mean, congratulations to Sunaina Anand, to Art Alive for bringing this forward. This is a year of hope, 21. We are looking forward to things getting better. But how can we forget 2020? And for me, 2020 is, you know, what I see around, and I think it's, it's important. I was going to ask you a question. Uh, earlier on, when, uh, in, a, in a happier time, Dom Morais was your friend. And Dom and you were traveling through Sweden one summer. And uh, he was supposed to be writing poetry and you were supposed to be painting. Uh, sadly, that did not materialize. In the context of this present exhibition, you don't need anyone to write anything. The images speak for themselves. It's very interesting. You brought you brought some thirty years. I know Dom for sixty years. Dom is not there gone. Sukhdev is not there. Lila Nadia is not there. They're all gone. Yes. Many of our friends have gone, yes. or they are old and they're displaced. Yes. There are very few friends left. When I say a friend, it's a friend forever. Of course, a friend is somewhere. You can at two in the morning. You can go and knock and be there. Okay. Uh, can I come to dinner? Are you free today we, between friends with them? Okay, we said that. Don and I went more than 28 years ago, invited by um, the Swedish, uh, Swedish, Swedish Institute, Swedish government, to visit the visit of a poet and a painter in the summer of Sweden. Amazing. And I did a series of drawings and paintings, and uh, from Gotland to Lapland, the entire Sweden, extraordinary. I even did a portrait of, uh, what's his name, who won a Nobel Prize, the boy. Yes. So there are, you know, their drawings are still there. But thereafter, I went again and I had a show. Now, you mentioned about Dom, about writing. Let me, uh, uh, many people asking me, many times, tell me in your brochure, there is no historian or a critic has given a preface. You know, the gallery has asked for it. I have never asked anybody to write about. Uh, not with any arrogance. Uh, a lot of people pay critics to write about them. 
I write a little note, I never explain my painting to anybody ever in my life. I write that I've done ink on paper and they were in the house and this is how it is. That's it, that actual detail. Eh? But um, they have no reference. No. They're not from photograph, they're all from imagination, etc. Um, anyway, so, uh, but today my Pankha book is going to come out. And the publisher, two, three publishers are interested. They say, but are there people who are writing without writing the visuals in the book? Yeah. The point is, when you meet a person, suppose I meet you, I don't know you, I meet somewhere, I can get your energy, I can get your feeling, who kind of person you are. When you give a lecture, quite often people say, you're the so famous, and all man. You are colouring the mind of people when you give it. So normally when I give a lecture anywhere in the world, I said, don't read my resume. Put the resume outside in front of you to pick up. So likewise. Uh, you don't have to, the paintings don't need to be explained. Or you don't have not to point a finger and write. Yes. There are sensitive people. Mm -hmm. There were many more sensitive people before uh, who was to write. Who would visit your studio Twice a week for five months before the road. So that kind of thing. But today somebody sits and writes a few things. Okay. I'm not against or for it if somebody writes it. But a lot of artists have uh, written material on their work. I have little, but I have Richard Bartholomew, Santodhara, S.A. Krishna, and all these people have written. Yes. You know. But this particular show, I feel, is just beautiful by itself and the way uh, you feel projected this. Not beautiful. Whatever they are, they are. They are. The, the, the <laughs> They'll feeling, speak to you. The, yeah, exactly. They are eloquent. They are, they are moments in history that you've captured. And again, uh, another interesting thing is, like your friendship with Dom, Raghu Raya and you are very good friends. Now, both of you are seeing the pandemic. Both of you have gone through 2020. And uh, I know that you almost share an office space. You, in the same you building. The same building. They got but the interpretations uh, vary, they're so, so different. Sure. So somewhere there is, between artists, you know, I, I like the fact that there has to be plurality, there has yeah. to be difference in the way, you know, you, you say things. But uh, were you also taking photographs or were you just no. working on No, no, no. Uh, you know, uh, when you, uh, when I paint, I do a lot of sketches and drawings and little ink thing, then I went out to paint. But when I draw, I go on drawing. But these are ink paintings, I call them, because they are with brush and ink. For, uh, it's very simply, because I had a studio in the house before, not a very large studio, but fortunately I had a lot of paper and ink. Mm. That's it. Mm. So I did. Um, How did you not run out of supply? Uh, almost. You almost, did run out of supply. That's why it's too ink. There was a little uh, reddish ink, so yes. I missed it. Uh, yes. you no, know, let me tell you a very interesting story. I don't remember where. I was doing some watercolor and my coffee was there. I by mistake dipped my brush into the coffee. <laughs> and I didn't see then I said, Oh lovely, burnt sienna. Yes. I did a six or eight paint call no call watercolor and coffee. But, yeah. But, uh, no. So the point is, uh, so I was doing with no reference and no photograph. So, uh, Raghu and I share a lot of things. The same building, he does his photograph, I do my work. He sometimes comes and sees my work. He saw all of them one day, one by one. And when I go to the studio, I see his photograph. He's doing a book. So then I tell him, these photographs are not good enough to go in that book. So suppose I reject five or six of them. So then I tell him, but one of these can go into that. Yes. So there was a time, yes. there was a time I would say come immediately take a yes. photograph or a color slide of my painting. Uh, Everybody is busy, but you know friends are where we are very naked and transparent and blunt with each other. Absolutely. Blunt to the extent if a third person listening, they will think he yes. yes. So we agree, disagree, we fight and discuss and yet we care for each other. Yes. That's what friendship is about. Then, Artist between artists to be influenced or inspired. Yeah? It is natural. Because of artists, etc., lived in parallel at that time, they were influenced and they were working together. 
But if somebody says in our country quite often they refer to Picasso and Matisse, they are not in our context. They are all in the book. Of course. You know? But there is so much in this country to be influenced and inspired by. Do three Janam Sadha Nahi Hoga. To be an artist, you need two, three lives. Of you know? So there's so much here in our country. But uh, this journey that began, that you have documented uh, through, your, uh, through your art, do you feel that... They're not documented and they're not art, they're just ink paintings. They are ink paintings. <laughs> they're not art. They are ink paintings <laughs> and they are moments of history, uh, documented in a way. Yeah, they are just the... But, uh, so, uh, so what happens to these people? Do you ever think about them? Where have they gone? Have they reached home? Was the journey successful? Did I think of the workers all my life. Mm. I, I, so no, when somebody says what you do, I say I'm working. I never say I'm, I'm doing inspiration and creative activity. I don't use these words at all. What you're doing, I'm working. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm myself a working class. Mm. So, you know. Kintu mune hoye na? Era kotha hai galo? Yeah, yeah, they've gone to oblivion. Uh, so no, Achha, during that time, I have written about 80 pages how to design a village. I have done about 40 pages how to design a school in our country, in our context. Because when they are going back, unka pani, unka toilet, unka bed, and the farming and all that, and the grandparents, you know. And I have been to many rural villages in our country. I have travelled widely, and yet, yet not enough. I have travelled widely, but not enough. But what I am saying is, uh, during this epidemic, the schools, they are having online and you know, laptop and all that. Yes. In the villages, you can sit in the hangar, 10 feet away, yes. and fine. Yes. You know? yes. So, uh, so I, so I, 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 done it. Uh, I want to do a book, and I telephone Amitabh Gant, okay. thinking that he will be interested in this concept of. And earlier, if I telephone, he will pick up the phone in a second ring. He not picked up my phone, and he might have thought I'm asking him something. But I wanted to build the project for the concept of, yeah, so like that. And this is not in the context, but I'm just no, saying. No, generally, generally. So. But uh, after this, uh, are you still working on, uh, you work, you're a, you, you work constantly. I don't work you, you work constantly. But uh, despite the fact that the subject is, is uh, you know, is full of poignance, is full of anguish, you know your uh, your your work with dancers, for instance, is something that I really really enjoy looking at. You know the way the, the way they're choreographed. You were telling me about Rajabati Sarkar a while back. Uh, strangely, there is that sense of movement, of fluidity, and and this flow that happens. They're you know, moving. They're, they're moving. moving images in a sense that it's it's almost cinematic. There's there are all these characters. I would imagine that. You know that they are kind of almost in conversation with each other, and uh, you know, talking, exchanging notes about their lives. But uh, here we are. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I have uh, the thought and the feeling of the best remained, but I have uh, uh, stopped working in this direction. I was I was finishing a mural in uh, uh, Ahmedabad for two years. I finished. Yes. And while I was doing it, I was doing a lot of Tawi, mm. the platter. Right. Lokishara they call it. Lokishara. The terracotta yes. platters. So I did about 30 or 40 of those. My so, uh, no, over the two years. Uh. So I was finishing it. There's an exhibition of, on Shiva. So I did the mural on Shiva for the uh, Danis. Uh -huh. So during that, then Shiva uh, obsessed on my head yes. and obsessed with me. Yes. Then in Askala, I did about 20 etchings. I did 20 drawings, 20 ink paintings, and about 30, 40 thousands. Now there's going to be an exhibition on Shiva in Bombay. That will come to Delhi and Shiva. So I go, you know, you know, the river flows. Jahapathara it hits, then bounces. Then soft soil then it picks up, and then so on. I I think the uh, journey of an artist like a river. Uh, and never ending. It's, it's never, end is not the sea, but the journey of an artist's river continues to flow. 
And the what? Over like that. Yeah. yeah. And then it's not enough. You, I'm, I'm at the moment frustrated or stressed or tense. Time is running out. I'm not done anything worthwhile. That is. I'm many projects, many ideas. Projects meaning not for achievement, not for gain. Certain thoughts and ideas that I have. You know, uh, writing books, how to book on media material and tools, etc. And so on. So lots on to the look work. forward to. Lots to look forward yeah, to. So work. Uh, not, not to look forward for me to do, to experience it. But you see, when I'm looking at these, I've forgotten them. I'm looking at it as an outsider looking at my work. They're not my work anymore. You they have a life them. of their own. Yes, they have a life. You see, what I do in my studio, I work. Okay? Then I put it away. When, when somebody comes to see the work, I take it out. I say, oh my God, but then did it. Then I say, oh, I don't like it. I said, no, that's not bad. Okay? Many times when I work at a site. Okay? Or fix the day or photograph. So the signature is that you approved of it and it's uh, fine. No, I put it away. When I bring it back, uh, I'm, I'm very strict in my own eyes for myself. Uh, so when I say it's not good enough, I tear it. Mm. Is it so bad? Or you work on it or you sign it. And signing is very rare that you approve your own work. I I say a thing, put a brancusi and a chola bronze at the same time. Whichever stands can stand up and will fall off. So uh, many of my friends, artists that I've known, they are also very strict with their work. Yes. If a gallery said, I want to have a show, and many of us said, I'm not ready yet. I have to be excited with yes. the body of work. Yes. Which holds together. Correct. Body doesn't mean 20 or 50 or 100 words. But we have to edit, to be able to no, know, to be excited. And, and to say that this is what I want to show. Yeah. And then then when I have a show, I'm never I'm always alone. In the sense I withdraw myself from the work. You get my point? Yeah. This is I'm talking about personal things. Of course. But this is how it is. Uh, not not predetermined. But you know they've gone out of my system, or I get surprises, or I get angry, when you with, can, when or you I get angry with, with myself that it's not good enough according to my estimation. So, anyway. Thank you, Jatin. Thank you so very Thank much. You. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Uh, nice conversation. Very good.